Hello everyone, you might be trying to go ahead and install Simu on your specific you know, Mac. Now this is amazing because it's now supported on not only Intel Macs, but M1 Macs as well. So the way to do this, there's a few different ways for the most part, but it is open source, so there's updates all of the time. Now, the best way, in my opinion, to go ahead and install it is by going to this specific website right here, which is just like a GitHub page, which is nice. So it's simu.thisspecific, you know, E-M-I-Y-L.com. So go ahead, I will not leave this in the description because if I do it, then YouTube usually takes these videos down. So just type this into the link, you know, inside of your search box, exactly how it is right here. And then you'll come into this page. Beautiful website, looks perfect. What you wanna do is click on the installation button right here and you'll come into this page. Now, if I go and zoom in, you have a few different options here. You can either install the latest, you know, which is recommended the latest official version, or you can install the latest commit, which sometimes can have newer features and be faster, but it can have way more bugs. You're way better off installing the official version. Now, we are going to install this like any other application. Before we had to do a bunch of weird stuff, now we don't have to do it. All you wanna do is just click on this specific little button, and you'll see it's automatically downloading right here. Now, if I go and scroll down a little bit, you'll see some troubleshooting stuff, and you'll also see the ability of updating Molten VK. Now, this is a little, the, the newer updates already come with this built in, so you don't really have to do anything. But if you want to update it, you do have to update it separately. If you have an if you have Intel, you can update it this way. If you have ARM, basically the M1 chipsets, you update it this way. Now, that is out of the way. If you want to go ahead and basically install Simu once it's downloaded, you'll get a little DMG file. What you want to do is you want to double click that DMG file and you will see this pop up. You are almost done. Now you want to go ahead and drag Simo into your applications. In this case, I'm just going to leave it here. So just grab this and drop it into your applications and you'll basically be able to see it in your application folder. Now if I go ahead and right click on this, the very first time you open it and they tell you this in the instructions too, you want to right click on it and you want to click open, which is right there. Now when you do that, you'll get into this little scary pop up and it tells you what da 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 da. You just want to go click cancel. You want to right click on it again, click open, and it will allow you to open it again. So just click open, and then you will see Simu will go ahead and boot up, and that is it. So now you can go and you know set up your custom path if you want to in your game path. In this case, I want to see if I can click next and just get through with this. Again, you want to configure this exactly how you want to, but in this case, I'm just going through and just using, just kind of doing it as I would, and there you go. You now have Simu installed and you can go ahead and use the top you know, panel up here to go ahead and bring in games and you can load and install games and all this other stuff. So that is pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.